you can use the um, that new site that I found called Award Space. So this is Award Space. So you just click on free hosting, um, put in your name, put in an email address. Now I'll, I can do this from scratch now. I've already did this once with um, with my Gmail, but I'll pick my Yahoo email. You come up with a password, so I will uh, make up a password. Um, so there's my password. So I register. It's going to go to my Yahoo email. Um, this usually takes no time at all. So now if I go into my email right here, so this is my Yahoo email, I got the award space response immediately. So I'm going to click on that. And then, and I think too, if you already did Alter Vista, why don't you try this one? Because now you have a better idea of how, how these, they all work similar, but they have different ways of, there's different ways of going about it for each one. So this one gave me a client ID. So I got this ID and then there's this link and I click on the link here and it will take me straight to award space. And my password is already here. I'm trying to remember it, if I remember it, okay. And give it a few seconds. So now this is going straight to this, this award space, but the response time for that email was really quick. Um, and then once I go into here, I'll show you the next step. So this is your dashboard. And it's similar to Alter Vista, but you have to know what to click in this dashboard. So you really just need to know two things. The do domain manager is where you're going to pick a name for the website. And then you have your FTP manager. So and this layout too, this is similar to the GoDaddy and um, other service providers. So it's not as step as step by step as Alter Vista, but it's easy once you know where to go. So you click on domain um, manager and give it a few seconds. And here you wanna create a free subdomain. So this is the free option. It's gonna add at webpages.com to the end of it but you just want to create this free subdomain. So um, I will um, just make something up. So this is uh, bake a cake. And then it's going to be bake a cake dot at webpages.com. Then you hit create. It'll let you know if um, it's successful. And now I have bakeacake.com here. And what's cool about this is um, I already have one that I created called Catman Hamburgers. So you can create multiple websites with this one. And so once that's set, the next thing you want to do is um, go back to your dashboard. So the dashboard is, is, the, is the place where all the different tools are to create and modify things. And then you want to go into your FTP manager. And here um, where you have this, um, this number here, this is where you get your FTP information. So you just click there and the FTP information is here, just like with Alter Vista. But this is what you can do instead of having to know all this information, you just go into FTP configuration files and you download this file right here. And then what you also do is you download FileZilla. So you download this. And um, 
there is my site, bake a cake, whatever. Um, hit yes, and it's going to download this configuration file. And what that file is, give it a few seconds. It's going uh, slow. Let me go back. There it is. So it downloads this file, and then you can download FileZilla, and you download FileZilla right here. And then if I go into FileZilla, once it's downloaded, so, um, So FileZilla works just like the um, tool in Dreamweaver. So I'm downloading FileZilla. And then there it is. I'm going to open it. So here's FileZilla. So what you want to do is you want to use that configuration file now. So all you need to do is go to File, Import. There's that Bake a Cake configuration file that I downloaded in the previous um, steps. It ends with a doc, dot .xml, so you know it's the right file. Hit open, hit OK. So it's going to automatically set it up for me, and then I can go into um, uh, you go to file, and then you go into site manager, and you see how um, I have bake a cake up here. So I'll click on that one and it filled it out for me already. And now I just hit connect. And now I just have to remember my password. Hit okay. Okay, now it's connecting. I can see it's connecting. And there you go, there's the site right here. So. This is the folder where I want to put my index file. So um, on the left hand side are the files on your computer. On the right hand side are the files on the server at this award space. And so I'm going to find my I'm going to find an index.html file here on my computer. Um, so I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to my desktop folder here. And then I'm going into, um, let's see, this banner project. And there's an HTML file. So all you need to do is drag your files over from one side to the other side, just like you did in the FTP tool in Dreamweaver. So I'm bringing this over. Wait a few seconds. You should see it going through up here saying connected. Um, let's see. And go up here. So there you go, it transferred index HTML on my computer to the server here. Um, for this website that I just created called Bake a Cake. And now if I go to the actual web page, bake a cake dot, um, and the name is at webpages.com. and just give it a few seconds. And that was the index HTML file I had only had the words banner at example, but it works and it works. So all you need to remember is when you're at award space for the FTP part, make sure you go into hosting tools, um, pick FTP manager,
in the FTP manager, pick the, the code that you got in the email, you know, in this email here, um, that case ID number, it's a different one, but you just pick the very first number, go to FTP configuration files, download this where it says FZ, download the software, FZ stands for FileZilla, and then just go through that process of importing the config file and it imports everything that you need to get the server um, connected um, for you. And then the two windows appears in FileZilla. You find your index file, your images and everything associated with the project and you drag it over to this side. So it works a little bit differently than AltaVista, but the concept is exactly the same where you're um, communicating with the web server, the host, which is uh, award spaces through the FTP um, tool, which in this case is FileZilla. Uh, 